Welcome back to another segment talking about the most exciting thing that happened in Michigan high school sports since the advent of the state playoffs that was two years shy of how long our terrific sponsor has been in existence, and that's Hungry Howie's Pizza celebrating 50 years of flavor. This is the state champs, Mr. Football Race. He's Sean Belizean. You feeling the excitement as we approach week six? Unbelievable. I love it. I mean, the season flies by every year, but hey, listen, don't panic yet. We still have a ton of football to be played. Obviously, the rest of the regular season and into the playoffs. So, uh, to me, Lauren, this is the best time of year. I mean, when you flip that calendar over to October, I mean, to me, that is the epitome of of you know the Friday night lights. That's that's beautiful this time of year. That's right, long sleeves. All right, hey, every week Sean talks up one of our candidates for Mister Football. This week we make our way to the LVC, the Lakes Valley Conference. He's big, he's strong, and he just had one. One hell of a game. You know, and here's the thing about this. If you follow high school football at all, you know this guy has been putting up numbers for quite some time. But this dual threat quarterback from Waterford Mott, Caleb Osborne, has been putting up silly, sick numbers to start this year. What? Caleb Cook. And last week, he outdid himself. I'm, I'm not joking. Here are these numbers, okay? 56-31 win over South Lion East. Check this out. 378 yards passing. Five scores. But wait, there's more. He rushed for 221 on the ground with three more touchdowns. So you go ahead and do the math. 56 points is eight touchdowns. Yep. Osborne had eight touchdowns, all eight of them. Yeah. He has been unbelievable. He has led Mott to a 4-1 and one record uh, so far this season, and he will be taking his considerable talents down into Ohio where he'll be at the Glass Bowl with the Toledo Rockets in 2024. But, it, Lauren, you want to put yourself on the map. You want to separate yourself from the pack. Have a week like Mr. Osborne did last week. Absolutely. And this is a guy who went 15 for 15 in week four with six touchdowns in the 47 to 20 win over Woodhaven. And you know what? All of those in Corsair country are rallying around their sur superstar because Caleb is leading the vote. Nearly 40% of the vote is for Mr. Osborne. Bryce Underwood is in second place with 25% of the vote. Clarkson's Des Stevens currently in third at 14%. But you can vote for your guy at statechampsnetwork.com. Just click on the contest tab. And I'm going to say this right now. Historically, week seven usually brings changes to the race. So tune in next week, I promise you. But good luck to all the candidates this week. Yeah, no doubt. And get out there and vote. I mean, Waterford Mott is kind of proving what we talk about all the time on this show. You have an opportunity to make a statement for your guy, to punch him into the final four. You go ahead and make your voices and finger taps heard.